Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Tom Kelly. Welcome to the series where we take a guitar riff and we turn it into a fully mixed, fully produced piece of art. If you've been following along, in the last video we broke down the technique for this riff, but today we're gonna kick off the production process. In this first video of the series, we're gonna start with our foundation, programming the drums. Today I'll be using Hertz drums to create the groove and structure that'll drive the track forward. Over the next few videos, we'll go step by step through everything you need to know to take a simple guitar riff and turn it into a fully mixed production. So today, let's dive into the drums and build the backbone of the track. All right, I believe we're rolling. What's going on, everybody? Um, we have this selective picking riff that we broke down, la well, not really broke down, but we broke down the technique of selective picking. And this is the riff that I played at the beginning. <laughs> Yeah, that one. So today we are going to program some drums to it. Today I'm going to use Hertz drums. I really enjoy their products. They have a lot of cool options. Yeah, basically I've been using them for a while. I'm enjoying it so far. I'm going to also blend in a couple of like kick and snare samples with Trigger 2 just because I like kind of mixing the snares and getting that extra bit of girth. But today we're going to focus on programming and writing the drum part. I'd like this grand rock pack yeah i'm digging it so far i like the way the tom sound it's not quite so like arena rocky like their like red and blue pack is it's got a little bit more modern zing to it so let's listen to this riff and kind of get a feel for what we're looking for okay so my initial instinct that i'm hearing i kind of want to do sort of like soft for the first half build into here um, initially when I came up with this idea I wanted to do like a little weird like gap measure and then break it down kind of heavy over here I think I'm just gonna rock with that instinct because I don't want to overthink it too much so let's figure out where everything is okay that's pretty fun I'm probably not gonna do it like that so I'm thinking maybe we'll just start out real simple with just like some kicks I'm gonna record it in with my MIDI keyboard. Oh no, we don't have the metronome. One, two, three. Okay, that's kind of a cool start. I was sort of envisioning like a little uh, chill section right here, kind of builds. I might do something a little more intense with these kicks. I don't know, let's see what it does in context. All right, so I'm going to take all of this and quantize it, command U, and then, oh yeah, I think it's just this part right here that needs to be 16th note triplets, so you command three, command U, and then come back over here, command three again, command U. All right, we should be locked in now. I think actually, yeah, right here, I'm gonna do some eighth notes. And then maybe right here, like, digga 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 like one of those, like, uh, four singles and then two kicks. So we'll do triplets. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, one two, three, four. Digga 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 And then one, two, Actually, you know what we're gonna do? I like lower toms, so we're just gonna bring these down to the tom two. And then tom four. Pretend like there's two toms on the kit, despite there being like a ton. Okay, actually, now we're gonna do bring that over here, bring this over here. And then we'll add a kick right there. And then I feel like I need like a, I need like a ding. Who the hell is the ride? There it is. That only took a, took a hot minute. I feel like that needs to be lower velocity and this needs to be higher velocity. That might be kind of cool. Add like a little something. Ooh, I didn't know I could do that. That's cool. I could do like cymbal mutes. Oh, 
that's really fucking cool. I like that. All right, let's do some 16th notes. Ah! Oh, I need to hit command. Act like a bigger boy. Let's do triplets right here. So basically, I'm just kind of going through each section, kind of doing layer by layer and filling in the groove as I hear it in my head. I have this loose idea of kind of how I want everything to rock, and then I sort of make game time decisions throughout. So right now, the mentality of what I just did, because I realized I didn't really explain anything that I'm doing, I went through and I kind of established the structure of my idea with the kick drums, and then I added a fill there just because I heard it and I figured while I was there I would just finish fleshing it out. Um, I might even go back and change things a little bit more. I have to go back and do all the velocities and stuff later. But now I'm kind of adding a couple of little symbol embellishments in this gap where it's going to be mostly just the riff. But I still want to have a little something something for fun. So, like, look, these parts are definitely difficult, but you got to make sure that they are physically possible to do. Like, you have to think about any time you make cymbal movements, you got to think about, like, how the drummer could possibly do it. So, like, for example, these little cymbal rolls right here. So what I'm thinking, that could all be based in, like, putadas. So, like, this would be, like, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left right left or now that's actually your foot right there so foot left and then right right left right left left that okay so see right there gotta fix that yeah okay so now that makes sense so right right left right left left right right left right or right left left right yeah so now that is a possibility so it would be like uh so right right left right left left right left left right yeah so you could you could play that Awesome. Okay, so that actually sounds really good. I think that's pretty much the meat and potatoes of the drum part. Now we're going to go back through and kind of like play with the velocity a little bit just to make sure everything sounds like real. And then we'll also add some grace notes and ghost notes and stuff to the snare to kind of just make it a little bit more realistic and interesting. I love, okay, low key, I, I really enjoy recycling parts and kind of putting them in different places. I think that is really fun and it also saves you a lot of time trying to think of shit because sometimes you just don't necessarily have a ton of ideas in that moment and that's okay because, you know, these small little details ultimately are gonna go largely unnoticed. Not that like they'll go unnoticed, like they'll be appreciated, but it's more or less like the whole composition more often is what creates the impression versus the parts themselves unless there is something very very interesting about those parts um and interesting can mean either they're very very cool or they suck bad enough to catch your interest uh but each way it's capturing your attention and so if you have a nice kind of like cohesive idea theoretically these little details should not necessarily distract from the greater sum of the parts. All right, let's listen one more time because I think we might be getting pretty close to the final, the final bit. <laughs> That's pretty sick. I'm I'm happy with that. I think I'm just gonna call that complete. And and that's it for programming drums. 
Hopefully this gave you some solid ideas on how to build a tight foundation for your tracks. In the next video, we're going to dive into bass programming, so make sure you stick around for that one. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You can also follow me on TikTok and Instagram for more behind the scenes, tips and tutorials, and exclusive content. If you want to hear more about what I'm working on musically, make sure you check out the bands Gloomchild and The Polymer Motive. You can find us on Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube, whatever streaming service you like to use to listen to music. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.